coalition of Southeast youth leaders has raised the alarm over the recent flag off of Operation Crocodile Smile 6 by the Nigerian Army in the Southeast Geopolitical Zone. The President General of the Coalition, Goodluck Ibim, in a statement Thursday described the move as ill-timed and ill-advised, adding that it was also a calculated attempt to use kinetic and brute force in administering a peaceful region. We recall that such operations by the Nigerian army usually end in cutting our youths in the name and under the pretext of security enforcement. The infamous operation, codenamed Python Dance or Ugweke in 2017, still haunts the collective memory of the Southeast youth up until this day. He noted that the region suffered a lot of casualties from the hijacked hashtag NSES protests, during which the zone lost the lives of many of its youths in their prime. In it is on record that during the hashtag NSAS protests, the army killed unarmed Mr. Eberi Osuigwe, it is five year old young father of five at his residence at Osuigwe Lane, Aba in Abia State. On his way to collect his phone from a neighboring building, another young man was killed by the army at Milverton Street in Aba. On the same day, and other youths who were killed throwing the families of these slain persons into sorrow and anguish. He said that the Nigerian army, rather than focus its operation in Borno and other northern states where the BH terrorists and insurgents have killed so many security agents, sacked many villages and took administrative control of some and even have the infantry to attempt the life of a sitting governor, despite heavy security details attached, leaves much to be desired. We are totally convinced that there could be sinister motives by the Nigerian Army's Operation Crocodile Smile 6 in the Southeast and South-South Zone. The army has lost the public confidence of the youthful population of the Southeast following the Egu AK operation. The army protects what it calls repentant BH insurgents or terrorists, reintegrates them into the mainstream population, and even absorbs them into its ranks. But yet, declares war on the Southeast and South-South youths for no reason other than calling for true federalism or seceding out of Nigeria for obvious leadership failure and perceived marginalization. We advise the Nigerian army to take its Operation Crocodile Smile to Borno, Katsina, Adamawa, and other northern states that have been ravaged by the BH terrorists and armed bandits. Adding that the Southeast is not in any war and is very peaceful. It is totally out of place to bring in the army to a very peaceful locality, it added. Be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? There are serious concerns regarding the Operation Crocodile Smile that has been launched in the Southeast region and the South-South region of Nigeria. 
the Southeast youth have raised alarm and they are saying that the region does not need this Operation Python dance. While the Nigerian Army has argued that it is their yearly uh, rethink program that they carry out around the Southeast and the South South, but the people of the Southeast and South South have argued and have continued to argue that they have no need for these operation as it were that this men and machinery as it were can be channeled or can be taken to the north where the level of insecurity is porous where the level of uh, the activities of uh, insurgents terrorists and bandits is on the high so be that as it were do you think that uh, this is right or this is correct what the southeastern people are saying concerning this operation do you agree with them in any way to a very large extent i think uh, what they're saying is true concerning this but be that as it is we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold the nigerian army are insisting that the operation python dance will go ahead and uh, while a lot of people are saying that there is no need for this uh activities of the Nigerian army in the southeast because it is peaceful but rather this men should be sent to the north to add more manpower add more firepower to those that are there so that they can be able to quell the activities of their insurgents and you know draw peace to that environment the claims are that there actually is no reason for sending the army to a region that is relatively peaceful without any chaos and there is no war also again that the recent or a previous operation python dance or activities of the nigerian army has left a lot of youths dead and they don't want a repeat of such but the Nigerian army I'm sure will not listen and they have uh, continued to send their people down to the southeast during this period be that as it were guys what are your thoughts concerning this do you think the southeast are in need of the Operation Python Dance activities and operation? Do you think that the region, you know, needs this, the presence of the military, the heavy presence of the military at this particular point in time? Do you think they have any need for it? I doubt it and I stand to be corrected. But truth be told, the northern part of the country needs them more they need these people more and so the government can channel this uh, men channel their efforts to the northern part of the country where insecurity is present or is heavily present so that can uh, or that should be able to help or uh, you know well, some of the issues of security or the security challenges that we have in in the northern parts of the country but it remains to be seen if the government will adhere or will listen to uh, this advice from different people it is what it is guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were please drop out at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.